Okay, so here's an example I'd like you to try. Um, calculate the pH of a solution of 1.0 molarity um, sodium cyanide and the Ka value is given there. So it's similar to the problem that we tried out. Um, go ahead and try it and I'll show you how to do it right after you do. So go ahead and click pause. Okay, so let's see how well you did. Um, first off, we have to make sure we again identify it. Um, Na again comes from a strong base. Cn comes from a weak acid. Roughly we can say HCN. So HCN is a weak acid. Conjugate base of a weak acid. So that's really what's going to be affecting the pH is this one. So when we write our balance equation it's going to be Cn minus. And again water is present. So I'm going to write it as HOH. going to produce HCN now plus um, now a hydroxide ion. So now I have my balance equation. I can now ice this. So ice initial change equilibrium. My initial amount is one molar. Um, I'm beginning with zero on this and zero on this. I'm going to have a minus X plus X plus X. Uh, 1.0 minus X, X and X. Um, since I'm producing hydroxide ions in solution, I cannot use Ka. I will have to use Kb. So as a reminder, Ka times Kb equals Kw. In this case, my Kb is going to equal to Kw over Ka and I get 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14th divided by my Ka which is 6.2 times 10 to the minus 10 and let me plug this in my calculator I'm gonna get 1.6 I'm gonna write it down here since I'm gonna use it anyways so 1.6 times 10 to the minus 5 is what I got. So that's my KB. I can now set up my equilibrium expression. It's going to be x squared over 1.0 minus x. Since my KB is a very, very small number, I can make this assumption to make the math easier. Assume 1.0 minus x is equivalent to 1.0 so really, I'm just going to get 1.6 times 10 to the minus 5 equals x squared, because over 1. Okay, now I'm going to solve for x. So I'm going to plug this in my calculator. Okay, I'm going to get x to equal 4.0 times 10 to the negative 3 a very small value of x. Um, since I'm defining it by uh, just to double check my 5% rule, I'm going to divide this by the initial amount which is 1.0 times 100 and we should be able to pass the 5% rule pretty easy. Zero, and I got 0.4%. So that's flying colors. I can make this assumption. I know what my x is. Again, I cannot, um, I have to find pH, not pOH. So, but I'm going to use pOH to solve equals negative log of x, oh, sorry, of OH ion. So, plugging this in, let me plug this in my calculator, and I get a pOH is equal to. 2.40 um, but I'm not looking for POH I'm looking for pH so I have to subtract 14 and I get 11.6 is my pH okay so makes complete sense the solution should form basic and it, it does my pH is 11.6 okay so I hope that helps you out with the basic parts of solutions.